Hello and welcome. This is Chai Hoffelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. The Supreme Court of the Philippines orders the immediate release of former President Gloria Arroyo. The SC acquits Arroyo of plunder and grants her plea to drop the case against her. Arroyo will be released from the Veterans Memorial Medical Center where she's been detained since October 2012. The vote was 11-4 in favor of Arroyo's petition to junk a Sandigan Bayan ruling that gave the go signal for her plunder trial in connection with misused funds of the Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office. In the Arroyo case, the four dissenters were the Chief Justice, the Senior Associate Justice, Justice Leonin and Justice Kagiwa. Of the four, only Carpio is an appointee of Arroyo. The rest were appointed by former President Benigno Aquino. The 11 justices who ruled in favor of Arroyo are Presbytero Velasco Jr., Teresita de Castro, Arturo Brion, Diosdado Peralta, Lucas Bersamin, Mariano del Castillo, Jose Perez, Jose Mendoza, Bienvenido Reyes, Estela Perlas Bernabe, and Francis Hardaleza. The Arroyo camp welcomes the developments and so does Malacanang Palace. Presidential legal adviser Salvador Panelo says it's about time and that was conspiracy at charge. Arroyo thanks the Supreme Court and President Rodrigo Duterte for, quote, allowing due process to take its course totally unhampered. Arroyo adds, quote, keep the faith in the justice system. The Philippine Supreme Court assigns at least 240 trial courts to handle drug-related cases nationwide. SE spokesman Ted Tess says the rise of drug-related incidents under the Duterte administration prompted the High Court to designate additional trial courts. The adds there are more than 120,000 drug-related cases pending in 715 regional trial courts designated to hear such cases. By its action today, the court has effectively authorized all the 955 organized regional trial courts across the country to hear, try, and decide drugs cases. Tess says Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno encourages Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre to appoint more prosecutors and lawyers to prevent delays in the resolution of drug cases. The Chinese government says it is willing to cooperate with Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte in cracking down on illegal drugs. In a statement released Tuesday, the Chinese embassy in Manila expresses, quote, China's willingness for effective cooperation in the campaign against illegal drugs. Beijing says it recognizes the Duterte administration's firm stance on eradicating the problem of drugs in the Philippines. This after Duterte said he would confront China on why Chinese drug lords are able to run drug trafficking operations in the Philippines. Duterte earlier announced the names of three Chinese nationals he accused of being top drug lords. Beijing will never stop building in the South China Sea or West Philippine Sea, a top Chinese military official vows. This despite an international tribunal's ruling that Beijing's expansive claims in the disputed waters have no basis. People's Liberation Army Navy Commander Wu Sheng Li says, quote, We will never stop our construction on the Nansha Islands halfway. Nansha is China's name for the Spratlys, where Beijing rapidly built artificial islands with facilities for military use. The pushback comes as China launches war games in the South China Sea. Could Taylor Swift sue Kanye West and Kim Kardashian for recording and leaking her and Kanye's phone conversation about the song Famous? Reports say it's possible. On Monday, Kardashian broke the internet after releasing footage of West asking Swift if he could use the line, I feel like me and Taylor could still have sex for the song. Swift and West feuded back in 2009 at the MTV Music Awards but buried the hatchet in 2015 until Famous came earlier this year. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hoffelenia. Remember, tomorrow begins today.